We're Kels, Houston, we've lost it, and Jay. Two years ago, we converted a school bus into a tiny home on wheels. Since then, we traveled all around America and learned the difficulties that sometimes come with living in a 36-foot school bus. After deciding to sell our beloved schoolie, Bye. we bought a van in the hopes that downsizing will make traveling easier. We have an ambitious goal of completing our van build in just 30 days, which we're finding means we're pretty much bound to mess up along the way. Join us today as we keep making mistakes. This is not good. We've definitely got a problem. And try to install the solar panels and a shelf. Day 11 started just like almost every other day. Frankly, we were ready to get shit done. for the grand reveal. So some of you guys might actually recognize this color. This is the color we ended up going with for Bessie. After having her white and getting really dirty, we decided to go with a darker color. Private black. We're gonna start with painting the ceiling. And don't worry guys, it's not gonna stay that dark forever. We have a plan. After our first coat of black paint, we were reminded that we're still not professionals and we're bound to make some mistakes. Alright, this is not good. We've definitely got a problem. So, the issue is we have to run our pecs from that side to here, but we no longer have access behind the shower. And there's a cross member right there that we can't get the hex through. Jay just gave me this tool and told me to figure it out, basically. So we're trying to poke insulation out of the way, but we might have to drill. Uh, Houston, we've lost it. Houston, we've lost it. I think we're gonna call it a day because we're both tired and making silly mistakes. I have something in my eye and I don't know what it is. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Cats are running around like mayhem today, Pip Buzz. Yes, I love you. Welcome to week three. This is the beginning of week three of the van build. Hard to believe it's already been two weeks, so we're about halfway done. Today's a big day. Let's go check downstairs, see what Jay's been up to. All right, so first things first, we've got to figure out the configuration of our four panels. So we've got two 100 watt panels, which are about to fall right now. Oh my God. Ooh. Was a close one. So we've got two 100 watt panels, one 160 and one 175. We're gonna connect the two 100s in series and the 160 and the 170 in series and then connect them both in parallel. So let's figure out the best way they go on the roof. So this last panel was actually given to us by the good old Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Al. I think in something like that. I think that's the configuration. 175, 100, 100, 165. Or 160. So first step is to clean the roof with acetone, and then I'll start by gluing that panel, then these two, and then this one finally. So first, clean this with some mineral spirits. I'm using the Sikaflex 252. I like to put a bead where I know the panel is going to sit on the edges. And put a few good beads on the panel itself. Stars in the sea with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I 
never switch sides. Like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad. Let up ties in the hearse. I've been on the floor. Once you're happy with it, push down all your edges. And the main edge you really need to focus on is the edge that's going to be getting all the wind. So anything that's facing the front of your vehicle, you really want to make sure that that is secured down. That way no air can get underneath it and cause any lift. All right, one more panel to go. Just under 600 watts of solar. Okay, I'm really nervous. I've marked out where I think the flange for the solar panel cables can go in. I'm about to drill the hole right there. The same oh, yeah. The first small pilot hole. Now for the big dock. Finishing up this homemade mac and cheese. Just kidding. It's Annie's from the box. If I don't make Jamie food throughout the day and force him to leave the van, he will not eat. So gotta bring this down to him. I'm just gonna bring it in the pot. What's the matter? You guys thought that because we lived in an apartment now we were civilized? Still not civilized. All right, let's go bring it down. Rob's up. Wow, that's my go. Okay, so above the driver's and passenger seat, there's like a little shelf, but like it's not really good for anything. So I bought this kit from Van Sillery, which gives you two brackets and a cutout template and some bolts. These brackets go in there where the two existing screws are for the port of that. And then you can run a shelf all the way along. I'm gonna cut out the template, eat my mac and cheese, and put in the shelf. So now the shelf's in, just a case of unscrewing two bolts there, putting this bracket in, and then replacing those screws with the one that comes in the kit. Pretty simple. Wait. Yeah, it was me. Oh, this is the easiest thing to do. <laughs> okay, so Alright, third, fourth try. <laughs> what do you guys think I've been doing? Tiling. We're tiling. And it's a mess in here. You're gonna wash your hands? Yeah, I'm gonna live like this for the rest of my life. Alright, with that, we're gonna call it a day and. Jay is actually gonna be away from the van tomorrow, and I am too, but it's just amazing. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> gonna go out on a boat with our friend. So we'll catch up with you guys on Sunday. Woo! Ready? Bye! So many words that I should have said. Not concerned about how to live instead. Fire in the hole. So as some of you guys may remember. My <laughs>